welcome back to the mini sode of the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Podcast. And I have to tell you, we're going to laugh a lot um, on this particular this particular uh, episode. It, this the origin story of this was an email. Well, actually, several emails that Amy got um, from Amazon hating authors. But I think the last one, Amy, was from a guy who hates. Like it wasn't just Amazon; it was like everything, right? So. I, or maybe it was a woman. I don't really remember, but I think he wrote you and he said, I'm not listing my book anywhere. All right. <laughs> what can you do to promote it? Like, I'm just, so it's like, I'm, so the book is a mystery. Like, I don't really know what's going on here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was very much one of those, like, he didn't like the man and he can't be told what to do. And he doesn't want to be forced to follow all these rules but then the way he presented it was like, so what are you going to do about it? It's like, excuse you. like, right? <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. You're going to wind up in my delete bin because that's weird. But I think that, you know, and I have had my own issues, which we will discuss on a separate podcast um, once it's resolved. I've had my own issues with Amazon. It's easy to hate the man. Like, I get it. Um, we got another email from a guy who said, um, help me stop playing Jeff Bezos game. I, I gotta tell you, I think Bezos is a little too busy. Don't worry about, you know, like it's not personal. It's just kind of how Amazon operates. And I think the, I understand authors that do not want their books to be listed on like, I understand they'd say, you know, I just, I don't like the restrictions. I don't like, you know, whatever it is about Amazon. Fine. But it is going to impact your sales because unfortunately, that is the number one, especially with when it comes to ebooks, place that consumers turn to to buy ebooks. And so far, I mean, with all due respect to Apple Books, I don't know. I think the numbers are, are considerably lower on it. I mean, when was the last time that you bought a book on, on, on Apple Books, right? I never have, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. So I think that, so I think that, you know, if you're going to um, hate the man, like if you're going to like this one author and he asked what we were going to, what are we going to, what are we going to, what are we going to do about that? I'm like, nothing. I mean, I know um, if you're, if you're going to hate Amazon, then you're going to have to come up with something. I mean, you're going to have to be pretty creative in terms of where, you're going to be sending your readers. I mean, I've had some authors say, well, I'm just going to list my book on Barnes and Noble. Again, when was the last time that you purchased, and let's just stick with ebook for now. When was the last time that you purchased an ebook off of barnesandnoble.com? I never have. I have never. I these are general questions, but I feel like I'm being quizzed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But I mean, Amy, you see this a lot when you vet authors that come in, right? About- I do. Yeah, it's it's surprisingly common. And I think the, or maybe a lot of people listening are like, well, no, I feel exactly the same way, which is like you said, Penny, is fine. But what, from our position, you know, you were so right. You're going to have to be ready to get creative and you yeah. are going to have to work a lot harder because this is another element that we touch on for different reasons with our clients oftentimes is that there's still, as much as everybody love hates Amazon for whatever laundry list of reasons, there's still a trust factor there in regards to online shopping, um, you know, how your uh, information is handled, the ease of shipment. There's just so many reasons why we may complain about Amazon, but people continue to go back there. And, you know, somebody buying from your website, they, if they don't know you asking them to input their credit card information, that's a big deal. Um, So, you know, when, in regards to the trust factor that Amazon has, I think that's, that's a really important thing that if you are going to keep your book off of Amazon or major retailers, you really need to have a site that's sophisticated enough to use other uh, banking platforms. Wouldn't you say Penny, like connected to PayPal, even Amazon pay, if you're not going to list it, you know, things like that, you, you do need to have those other those other shopping options that people are comfortable with if if you're going to make a go of it. But I also think, and I think this author that wrote you, and again, I, I say he, he but it, it may not have been a him. Um, I, I also think that this author that wrote you, this was, you know, uh, their first book, 
right? And the other, the other side to this coin is, is that there's a lot of things in the world that we dislike doing, right? There's a lot of institutions that we would rather, right, that we feel have gotten too big or whatever. And I used to have when I was, now I'm on Apple, but I remember the days of Microsoft and just thinking, you know, Bill Gates is just out to like ruin my day with all these updates to Microsoft Windows, which I know all you Apple people out there have no concept of, but it's really awful. (laughs) But but I think that, you know, so, so there's a lot of different things out there that we feel, you know, that we sort of begrudgingly do, but we really hate it. When it comes to Amazon, if your long-term goal is to get off of Amazon, and and to build your own network, to build your own support system, to build your own sales on your website, that's a great goal to have. But you can't do it with book one. So be realistic about your goals. Like it's 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 great once again, like this guy, like, oh, I just hate the man and I just want to be, you know, blah. And fine. But it's not going to happen right out of the gate. So I encourage you to use these tools that are out there, even like Goodreads, because we I did a blog post on this actually a couple of weeks ago about, you know, a lot of people like to hate on Goodreads, but at the end of the day, it's a great, use the tools that are out there for you to build your platform if at some point, someday you want to get away from X, Y, Z, whatever, right? Then maybe you have the resources. People know you, they trust you. Like Amy said, there's a big trust factor with just putting your credit card in somebody's website and hoping that you get it, you, the, hoping that the book ships, hoping that you get the book. Um, so I think you can use Amazon at least, you know, early on um, to build your to build your network. Um, maybe you just want to put your ebook up there and you want to sell the print book off your website, whatever, right? But they're a big player. So, you know, and you may not always like their rules, but it's kind of, it's, you have to sort of play the hand you're dealt. Right. Absolutely. I think that's a very good point that you can also diversify how you present things. Yeah. But. Yeah. But you can't really do it, you know, with book, like if you're a new, unless you're some big famous, I don't know what, I know there was, there's a host on a, um, there's a, there's a TV host that has listed his book just on his website, completely outside of Amazon. And the book is selling very well, but the guy has his own TV show. He has his own mailing list, you know, et cetera, on and on and on. It's pretty easy for someone like that to sidestep Amazon, but for the rest of us, it's a little bit harder. So, you know, it's hard to be famous and hate the man. That's just the way that is just the way that it is. Anyway, we hope that you enjoyed this mini-sode. Uh, this is Penny Sansevieri and Amy Cornell. I didn't introduce us uh, at the onset of the, sh- the mini-sode, I realized, but you know, at this point, we're all old friends, right? We've been doing this podcast for over a year. I'll, actually, we're getting, we're going to be into two years next February. So y'all, we know you, you know us. And if you just joined the show and just discovered us, we get a lot of emails that way. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to go back and check out some of our other episodes, both mini-sodes and full length. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.